Hello YouTube, back again with another 1v1 video for you. Um, this man on your screen right here, a Zapdos. He is a Sentio main, not something you see every day. But as you may be aware, he's taken the 1v1 scene by storm. Uh, very unique playstyle, obviously a very unique car as well, which makes his playstyle even more unique because you just do not see Sentios in pro lobbies, ever. Um, but he's very good with it, very, very good with it actually. So I wanted to show you these two replays because he's just a very interesting player. Um, I haven't actually watched either replay that I'm showing, that I'm going to show you. So hopefully it's not boring. Um, but I decided to just go into this one blind. This particular replay is um, Zapatos up against. Apparently Jack on NA servers, of course, AppJack moved over to the North American region from Europe. Let's see what our man in the Sentio can do against the 1v1 god that is apparently Jack. We're just going to get straight into it. So we're going to leave it on direct to cam. It will just flip through both players. AppJack momentarily winning that kickoff. Did you see that little wave dash there from a Zapdos? Not seen anybody else do that. He does this really weird lean back wave dash and he gets so much speed off of it. So, straight away. The game just looks weird because there's a Senti on the pitch. But trust me, trust me when I say he's a great player. Can he match up Jack though? Not straight off the rip, he can't. He goes a one down, apparently Jack. A shot off the ceiling there. Straight into Zapdos, isn't it? Let's see what he can do. Can he bring it back quickly? I believe he can. Jack is a brilliant 1v1 player though. Arguably top one in the world at the moment. He might be the best 1v1 player currently. Uh, I'm not sure where he is on the leaderboards. He might be one. He might be top one, I'm not too sure. But in my opinion, I think he is, at the moment, at the very least, the best 1v1 player we have currently. This man we're watching here, though, could definitely have an argument in the future of being the best 1v1 player. Abjack mind games as Zapdos there perfectly, but then misses. Flicks it too high. Jack's still on the ball. Plenty of pressure. Just cannot break Zapdos down just yet, though. Although it does seem inevitable. He does get a good challenge to Zapdos. So he pushes, apparently, Jack back towards his own goal. Gives himself some time to breathe. He may be able to take control of the ball here. Jack trying to boost up him. Taking all the boost he can. Can he convert this pressure into a goal? Not quite just yet. He is going to concede possession here actually to Zapatos. He's going to take control of the ball. And dribble it around into the open net. On the blue side. 1-1. One, one. He's done a great job there to take the punches and roll with the punches from apparently Jack to keep it tied up although I think Jack has just shot an open net and he has and it goes straight in off of the kickoff kick goal there for apparently Jack boring um, just kidding plenty of kickoff goals in 1v1 it's part of the game let's see if Zapdos can withstand the pressure from apparently Jack even more and try and bring himself back into this game going for the wall to air dribble, lands the reset, goes for the back lift flick, not quite pulling it off though, does get tripped up a little bit there as well, Jack is going to take control of the ball and the boost and shoot straight into Zap's net, 3-1 to apparently Jack, looking the better player so far is apparently Jack, just a lot more controlled, very controlled player. I mean, that's his play style, he's, he's controlling, controlling the game, controlling the ball, controlling the boost, breaking down the opponent, defending, until he can score. Zap catches him off guard there though, flicks it past apparently Jack. Very fast play there from the man in the Centio, the man from Mexico, I believe. I should probably double check before I say things like that. What can he do here? He tries to catch Jack out by a quick shot over his head. 
Not a great shot there from Zap on the follow up either. Jack trying to find some boost, as is Zap, who is only on 12. Oh, he just gets something on the ball there to take it over his own goal. Otherwise, that would have been an easy open net for apparently Jack, who is air dribbling. Fakes, goes low. Scores a goal. Beautiful play there from apparently Jack. Fakes and goes low into Zap's net. 4 2 to apparently Jack. Can a Zap to bring it back? A minute 46 on the clock. Zap going for another air dribble. He's going to land the reset. And that's a clean reset, but Jack somehow keeps it out. Great defending from Jack, who does break through as well. Sap is just getting back to that. What can Jack do? Oh, just catches Zap crawling off his line. Easy doink over the top. Not a doink, it's a dink over the top. Or Zap. Kind of makes him look a bit silly there. Caught him with his pants down, if you like. Um, still plenty of time though. Zap's got to get three goals to bring it back to even. But there's plenty of time. There's over a minute. It's doable. I've seen what this man can do in this car. It's ridiculous. It's almost made me want to make a cent here. Bruce, Sixty seconds cars. left on the clock. Like absolutely brilliant. But I think it's the man behind it. It's a great avoidance there on the demo. He nearly gets a goal as well on the follow-up. Tries to put more pressure on apparently Jack here, but Jack is withstanding the pressure very well at the moment. Zap is just going to let the ball drop. He is getting bumped though. He's very patient there. Doesn't do anything silly. Waits for the right time to challenge. On the clock. What can he do? Jack. Meeting him again in the 50s. Apparently Jack looking pretty comfortable at the moment. Defending here at the end. He's wasted so much time. Um, which is going to get him the win. No doubt about it now. Zap does get a goal. It's still possible to get two goals in 10 seconds. But I think that goal, his third goal, is a bit of a consolation goal. Unfortunately. Uh, it looked like he might have been in there for another open net. Uh, off the kickoff, but not quite. This game is going to go in favour of apparently Jack. Once the ball hits the ground, Jack's going to keep it up. Actually, misses there. They're still going to keep it up. They're both going to keep it up. How long is this going to go on for? Let's see how long they can keep it up for. They're definitely going to try and keep it up. How long are they going to do it for, though? <laughs> are they going to do it all day? Oh, that's going to drop. Yeah, not quite. Well, Jack takes a dub on that one against Zapatos. 5-3. A decent showing from a Zapdos, not bad. Apparently Jack looking clean as ever though in the Fennec. You're not going to beat apparently Jack when he's in form. You're just not. He's just too good. Anyway, the next game, a Zapdos is going to be going up against First Killer. Okay then, into the next game. As I said, Zap against First Killer. Can he take down arguably North American's best 1v1 player of all time? Is it arguable? I'm not so sure it is. He probably is. Overall, currently, I don't think so. But overall, first kill has to be NA's best one one player, right? It's got to be. Um, Zap actually gets a reset there off of his mistake somehow. Manages to get back to the ball. Very unique gameplay being shown straight away here. Can he take down the mighty first killer there? First killer, double tap off the backboard. Makes it look easy as you like. Absolutely no fear from first killer. But he's not going to be able to... Oh, I thought he went too far back there. I thought he let that ball in. Man's got ice in his veins. Hands up. Take him down. That is the real question. So far, Zapato's having more of the ball. Although he is going to have to concede push, uh, possession here. First killer takes control of the ball. Flicks it over Zap. Makes it look very easy, actually. Zapato's looking a little bit desperate on his challenge there. Doesn't get the corner boost in his corner. It doesn't spawn in time for him. He looked, he just had to, well, he just had to challenge the ball. There's not much else he could have done, to be fair. He had no boost. Just wanted to try and get in front of the ball. It doesn't work. First killer scores. Zapatos does have possession here. Flicks it to the left side of first killer's goal. First killer matches it. First killer 
with the follow-up as well. And another open net. Not quite, actually. The ball bounces horribly. Zap actually stopped playing there. Um, he thought it was going in. So did I. The bounce was horrible there for Fazkula. And he had zero boost, so he just couldn't follow it. He still has possession here, although he does get removed from the map via the demo from the Zapdos. He takes control and goes for an early flick. A bit too direct, not enough power on the flick. First killer is going to save them with his eyes shut all day long. First killer, oh, brilliant play, brilliant control. Brings the ball down, lifts it off the ground a little bit, then brings it back down to the ground, pops it over Zap's head for the third goal. 3 0 to first killer who's making it look pretty straightforward. Zap does go for the pinch though, off the sidewall, and it does go straight in. Cuts a pinch from Zap, goes straight in. Very unique, very great goal. Thinking off the top of his head. Brilliant goal. 3 1 in favour of first killer still. First killer nearly sneaks a fourth there actually, very sneaky. He's still got control of the ball, does first killer. Doesn't get his boost, actually. Zap steals his corner boost, but first killer is going to get the back left boost instead of the back right. Zap does have possession, though. What can he do with it? Fakes the musty, catches the ball, pops the ball. Doesn't quite work initially, but he does get the rebound. Well played from Zap, very patient. Could have just cannoned it at first killer's net, but first killer is the best goal line defense player, maybe, of all time. You know, if you're going to cannon a ball at first killer and he saves it, you know he's, he's going to go and get the goal back on you. If you're going to concede. First killer here on the ball. Goes for a quick play. Zap is not able to match the speed there on defence. First killer bangs it top shelf for his fourth goal. 4 2 to first killer. First killer again winning the kickoff, but not really doing much of it. Doesn't have enough boost to do a lot of it. Tries to go for the pinch. Doesn't work. Oh, Zap fakes a goal there and then flicks it with a musty. That's a beautiful goal. Let's watch that one back from Zap's POV. Oh, lovely. He faked the initial shot into the musty. It's a beautiful goal. Well played. Uh, let's just put the name tags back on there. Sorry about that. I accidentally removed the name tags off the top of the cars. But they're back on now. 4 3 to Vascular. Zap keeping it close. Definitely keeping it close. He's playing well. First killer looking so dangerous every time he goes forward. He does miss the second hit on though on the second reset. Zap's not got enough boost to counter it for a goal. He does get the demo and it is going to be an open net. He does score it as well. Well played Zap. Well played. Four all. One minute and 48 left. I still feel like first killer is the better player. Or has been. Although he has made a couple of mistakes. But so has Zap. This game could go anyway. Nearly another mistake there from Zapatos again. First killer nearly gets in the open net. Not quite, though, not quite. Still 4 4. What can Zap do here? Kind of fakes first killer. Oh, and he flicks it round him. I'm not sure if he meant to fake him. I'm not sure if he meant to fake him or he just missed the ball. But either way, he faked first killer there. And does get the goal for his efforts. Zap kind of missing the wave dash there. First killer. Awkward, backwards, not quite able to get the uh, shot off on the open net off kickoff. He still has zero boost as well, he can't find a pad right now. And Zap's just going to get a goal because of that. First killer struggling to find any boost at all, not even a pad. Stuck on zero for at least 5 to 10 seconds there. At least him conceding the goal. 6 4 to Zap, looking better in this game than he did against apparently Jack. And these games were played on the same day as well. Zap going for the pogo. Oh, you're not dark, mate. You're not dark. You're not quite there yet. You're going to need to take some lessons off dark for that one. But I like the efforts. He's going for the musty here. He's going to try and carry it across the field. Gets the reset. He's going to try and dunk first killer. Not quite. First killer somehow keeps it out. First killer's going to take the ball and the boost. And he's going to score, actually. Zap's not going to get back to this. 6-5. First killer keeping it within one. Can Zapato to close this game out? He's only one go ahead with 30 seconds left. Can he close it out? Fakes the kickoff, actually. Is he going to get the boost out? I think he did. I think he did. Yeah, he did. First killer's retreating. Zap. I need a boost here. What can he do? Great control. Brilliant dribbling play in the Sentio. So good that it made my voice crack. First killer. 
He's only got 15 seconds left. What can he do? He does have control of the ball. He's got Zap low on boost, so Zap goes for the jump to block the ball. It does work. It does work. First killer. He's only got three seconds left. Oh, is that enough? Is it going to bounce? Oh, I thought it might bounce and go in, but not quite. Not quite. Great game there, though, between them two. Zap does come out on top with the 6-5 win in the end. If that ball bounces, I think it's going in. I think it will reach the goal. Maybe. It'd be really close. I think it would reach the goal off the bounce, but not to be. I actually thought that would bounce. But, yeah, not to be. 6-5. Great ending. Great game overall. Both of the games were really good. Apparently Jack looking quite comfortable in the first game. Zap coming out against first killer though. Showing him what he can do in the Sentio. Making a name for himself and that's why Zapatos is top 10 currently. Definitely making a name for himself. He's already made a name for himself actually. Brilliant player. So fun to watch. I urge you guys to go to bullchasing.com and uh, watch some of his replays. Watch him play. He uploads all of his replays so yeah definitely Win or loss, clearly he uploads them anyway. I mean, it was Zapatos himself who uploaded both of these replays. So, yeah, I think he's got it on auto-upload. So there's plenty of replays to watch from him. If you like his game style, definitely go check him out. Awesome player. Brilliant two games. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, leave some comments below if you enjoyed it. Leave some comments about what you think about my videos. Um, criticism is included in that. I don't just want positive comments. Constructive criticism is, is welcomed. It does help me understand where I'm going wrong in videos or what I can improve on. So yeah, all comments are appreciated. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers. I'll see you next time.